Hey y'all, hey, happy Saturday, happy Saturday y'all. It is Saturday the 14th and I'm about to go run some errands and y'all is coming along with me. I got on these little pumpkin earrings with this little cute shirt right here. I did get this shirt off of Timu and I think these earrings came off of Timu or she in. Don't mind the boxes on my bed y'all. I recently just did an Ulta perfume. Um the mini haul and I'm keeping my boxes to go underneath my Christmas tree um just for like the aesthetic to have like the cute gift wrap boxes or whatnot so yes with that being said today we is going to go run some errands I need to go to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription um I also need to run by the bank and then once I leave the bank I need to go to Dollar Tree to grab some, I think, see if they got some bats to, or like spider webs for to make my Batmobile for trunk or treat. And then I also need to run to Walmart. I need like a white undershirt for church tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna get two pumpkins and like the carving kit so we could do like a um, pumpkin carving contest. And then um, I need to grab a pizza. And I think that's all I need from the Walmart. And then after we leave Walmart, we're going to head and grab some food. So, yeah, that's the plan for today, y'all. Um, super excited to carve the pumpkins with the boys. Then between, once I get back, in between playing with the kids, I do have a lot of cleaning and laundry to do. Um, yeah. So with that being said, y'all, I will see y'all when I'm on the go. So, y'all, we have made our way into... Um, Dollar Tree, not really. Look, look, such so as not really, not really. Um, seeing what oh, look at this one, it's an inflatable candy cane in a six feet. Be, you can't beat that. Look, look at six her. feet for five dollars. Where you see that? I think it's on a black decor. Oh, look at the garlic. Are you recording yeah, me? Uh, no, it, that I'm recording myself. I'm gonna oh. show them this, but oh, look at the Santa Claus. Yeah, look at the colors with the poncettas, but it's not my colors. Oh, oh no, I got that already. But I, I can use that, but that come in the kit, y'all. No, this is what I'm talking about right here. But the, the only negative thing it's six is foot tall. that's what I'm saying. That thing big. Pump not included. Oh, it has some uh, little anchor pieces, though. So, so to like anchor it down to the room. Why would I need a pump? Because it's inflatable. We need to pump it up. And I could blow it up with my balloon pump, but when they say pump, do I need something to like continuously blowing it? I don't think so. It looks like one of them that you blow up in it. Probably need one of these. Well, I sure get the snowman though. Since we doing Winter Wonderland, I can see him in the little garden. He ain't that big. And look at the inflatable ornaments. Oh, this what these is? Yeah. So you can hook them on the, um, hang them from the front. Oh, they're pretty decent size, too. Yeah, they're like, look, they look like the, what's it called? Like you do with the thing. That's pretty. I really want to know if this is my color. It's either that or the light blue or maybe turquoise. Because I bought all my stuff on sale last year. But I really want to get this snowman and anchor him into the garden. I want to do you do these light bulbs. You can even. You got it. Got to stab it real hard. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> it's like a little music area. It spins. Oh, it's like, There's like a little drum right there. <laughs> yeah. Somebody wanted to get out the house to go walk. Yeah. This is what they doing. Yeah. This is what this one doing. The kids, they're on the other side, but it's four kids at the park to protect their privacy. So, go swing.
quick outfit of the day. So we got, I'm going to put on this purse. I know it's different shades of pink, but it's October, breast cancer so month. Then we got this little Fuchsia looking onesie that I had got, I think last year when this company was first coming out to Walmart. And for some reason, a lot of this stuff was super discounted. So I got this shit for like two, three dollars. And then I got my sweater from TVU. It's okay to not be okay. Just don't give up. We wear that. And these are just some jeans from Walmart for like 13 bucks. So yeah, TVU, TVU, Walmart, Walmart. Yes, my shirt is wrinkled, but it's going underneath my jacket, so you ain't gonna see it. So, y'all, it's all about, like I keep telling y'all in every video, sorry, the camera in the way, it's all about doing the things that make you happy. Like, we live in a time so where there's so much going on around us within this, in this country, in other countries. There's so much evil and wickedness going on right now. So, I just encourage you to do the things that make you happy. I already made up my bed. I'm already free ready, as y'all can see. Um, I don't know what fragrance I want. I'm probably going to put on a black opium. Uh, no. I got to figure out what this scent is. It is a YSL. It did come in a mini with this and the black opium. I do like the black opium. However, I feel like I got a lot of other fragrances that matches black opium around that avenue. This is something a little bit different. So, I want this in the bigger jar. And, um, as y'all probably already got it, I still want the cloud. Yes, I do. Mm hmm Like, I really like this. This is, I honestly like this better than the opium. So, yeah. And while we own this, let me tell y'all about this perfume right here. Y'all see, I've been using it. This is one bipolar fragrance. When I say it sends you through the blues, it sends you through the blues. However, the final note of this is a beautiful, beautiful, soft smell. It really is. But to get through there, you got to smell like lemon roach spray. Then it's going to die down to like an old church lady. Then you're going to be smelling like cotton candy for a minute. Then when it simmers, baby, you 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 gonna just be smelling nice, soft, and pretty. But it go through so many. <sighs> anyway, anyways, y'all, let me finish getting ready. Let me put on my jacket, then go put on my shoes or whatnot, and then I'll let my sister give me an outfit of the day once we get to our destination. We back at the Aloha Waffle Bar, y'all, and these are the fall drinks. Isn't it just cute? Look how they do the little drinks right here. That is just too cute. This is my drink, y'all. I did not get the little bubble tea in it because I wasn't feeling like the little bubbles last time. It came out to be like plasticky, so I had got it without it. But yeah, this is my drink. Y'all, we is at the beach. My sister walked ahead of us. And it's so peaceful out here. Sometimes you just have to come to clear your mind. Just release things that you need to release and just let it go. And that's one thing I had to teach myself is you can't fix every situation. 
um, trying to fix every situation, it will drain you. Sometimes you have to allow God to move in people's lives the way he see fit. Because when we're going through trials and tribulation, when you have a caring, giving heart, you automatically want to help. But sometimes if you keep coming to somebody rescue and God is trying to teach them a lesson, they will never learn. So sometimes when you see somebody going through a little trial and tribulation, allow them to work themselves out of it. Don't allow them to drown, but allow them to work themselves out of it. And when the time is right, God will allow you to intervene to help them and allow you to be used as a resource to get them through their situation. And that's why sometimes it can become so frustrating when you're trying to help family members and get them into better situations. And no matter what you do, they don't listen to you or you pretty much give up trying to help a family member because it's not time yet. It's not time. It's not time for you to help them. When it's time for you to interfere, God will allow you to do just that. But when it's not their time to change or it's not your time to be involved, it will feel like all of your attempts is not doing nothing. No matter how much you talk to a person, no matter how much you try to make them understand, it's like they're not grasping it because it's not time. It doesn't matter how much you may want something for somebody else, they have to want it for themselves. And that's why you have to really pray and give it to God and allow God to see fit what God see fit to allow them to be able to go through their trials and tribulation so they can have their testimony. Because at the end of the day, they know the family and friends that was there on their journey. They know the families that tried to reach out, but they wasn't ready. They know. They really know. And when they're about, when they get ready for their testimony, they will be able to say such and such was there. I wasn't ready, but they was there. And that all that matters because sometimes we will overstress ourselves trying to save people or just having too much of a caring heart. But... I said that to say this, continue to be the best version of you. Continue to live your life the way you see fit. Don't allow others and other situations to drown you because while, you, while you're trying to save them, you'll be not drowned yourself because they're not even trying to reach out to the life raft. You see what I'm saying? You trying to stop them from drowning and they done made you drown. You see what I'm saying? So just be careful. My sister done took her shoes off, putting her feet in the water. I ain't doing that. But yeah, we done walked a little distance. That's all I had wanted to tell y'all. But hope y'all having an amazing day today. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Now I'm more than likely see y'all when we get home, because now I want me some shrimp. I ain't even gonna hold you. I really want me some shrimp. Now, while that breakfast was really good, it's a Joe's Crab Shack right here where we at, but I do want me some um, juicy crab.